During Ramadan, Israel has tried to ensure the Muslim faithful could pray at the Al-Aqsa Mosque on the Temple Mount. There has been a dangerous effort underway in Jerusalem. Terrorist organizations have been trying to hijack the Al-Aqsa Mosque in order to create an outbreak of violence in Jerusalem and from there a violent conflict across the country. While clashes have erupted between Israeli police and Muslims, Lapid maintains Israel is not to blame. Hamas and Islamic Jihad extremists burst into Al-Aqsa Mosque in the early mornings again and again. They brought weapons into the mosque, they threw rocks and explosives from within it and used it as a base to incite violent riots. Videos on social media have shown security forces using stun grenades and tear gas inside the mosque. And Lapid points out Israeli police aren't endangering worshippers, they're trying to protect them. The only reason the police have twice entered the mosque in recent weeks to remove them. If we had not removed these rioters, there would have been a disaster. Recently, reports are circulating that Israel intends to change rules governing the Temple Mount. Lapid denies the accusations. Israel is committed to the status quo on the Temple Mount. Muslims pray on the Temple Mount, non-Muslims only visit. There is no change, there will be no change. We have no plans to divide the Temple Mount between religions. Lapid said Israel had blocked provocation by Jews and reports indicate no Jews will be allowed on the Temple Mount probably until the end of Ramadan. Several rockets have been fired from Hamas-controlled territory over the last week and Israel is focused on containing the situation. Israel will not accept rocket fire from Gaza period. We have a zero tolerance policy for attacks on our territory. The tension also affected a Christian celebration after Israel limited worshipers for what authorities called safety precautions. Still thousands gathered for the holy fire ceremony at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre on Saturday. Thankfully, it took place quietly and in an organized fashion. For the first time in years, Ramadan, Passover and Easter coincided resulting in violence rather than celebration. It should be a cause for joy. We should be able to celebrate together, respect one another, enjoy one another's traditions and cultures. That is the true spirit of Jerusalem. Chris Mitchell, CBN News.